Yes? Can I help you? Can I help you? Hello, I am Gigi and I like to be left alone, except when I am hungry. When I am hungry I bang on doors in the night to wake my humans. Kubo, stop doing that. Kubo, no, stop, stop, please. <laughs> Have some mercy. Kubo, for goodness sakes. I know he's gonna go straight back to it once I'm gone. Hello everybody, I'm just trying to do some character designs today for my comic yay because I've been telling you guys that I want to do um, this comic for a while but I decided to do a sort of anthology of um, short horror stories so I've got I've got the thumbnails down for one you can't really see it but it makes sense to me <laughs> it doesn't make sense to you um, and the thumbnails down for the second one this one is slightly shorter than this one and yeah, I'm really excited to start working on them in, it's going to be called Through Gritted Teeth. I think I do need like a third story, but I'm not sure yet. I'm having a lot of fun with these, with the Windsor Newton markers, the brush markers. I'm still enjoying them. I feel like I found my groove a little bit and wanting to do a style in the style really. And yeah, I'm really excited to work on it. The only downside is last week I got told that I might be made redundant at work. So basically they're downscaling the entire team and I have to do an interview next week and I'm really scared. So let's see what happens. Fingers crossed for me. Apparently there's nine people going for five jobs in this area. So I've been trying to push um, I've been trying to push uh, Patreon, so I did like a little banner, new banner for my Patreon yesterday, uh, not yesterday, um, the other day, and it looks a little bit like this, but because this formatting is slightly different, it kind of looks a bit different on the Patreon page, which I don't really mind, because I think it looks quite cute. And then I started on doing like some little thank you badges. And then also I'm doing um, these limited edition prints. This is my Ghibli redraw that I did a few or a couple weeks ago and I really liked it so I thought it would make a nice little print to go with some stickers that I will be working on. I was working on them yesterday but I couldn't get my... I haven't used the green cut yet, I've been planning to, but I tried to print stuff out off this printer using the Cree cut program and it just wasn't sending what I wanted to print to my printer so I have a feeling that this printer is a bit rubbish because I think it's like a really cheap printer I can't remember when we got it but I think it was about 50 quid which is quite cheap for a printer so I don't know if it's gonna work um, I'm hoping so otherwise I'll just hand make the stickers for this month's patron it's my little abstract piece um, that I did before and then I've got some books that I wanted to do paint overs of. I've yet to read them, but I've been reading Come over here. I have been reading the Laura Jean Laura Jean to all the boys I loved before and I've finished this one and I finished the second one And I need to read the third one because I was thinking about doing like a free part video of book paint overs and I thought that would be really fun or not like a free part but like three books in one go because I've never tried that before. I've also got Big Little Lies because I love the show so I thought I might as well give that a read. Here are some of my comics that I really like. I recently got Tommy, Tommy for my birthday and I got all the Lock and Key collection which I adore. I love these books. Um, these comics, if you haven't read them, 
get on it because it's really, really good. I also got these shoes yesterday. I bought them off Depop for like 30 pounds. Um, they're Air Force One, so they're like worth about 100 quid, I would say. Um, obviously, well, not obviously, they are too small for me, but I was thinking that I would customize them on YouTube and then give them to my niece, maybe as a Christmas present or like something, but I need to like clean them and then figure out what I want to customize on them. I think it would be a really fun project because I've always thought that would be really cool to do. So I'm glad that I managed to grab some like secondhand ones because I wasn't going to spend that much money on brand new ones and have all that pressure. So that will be a fun video, I think, which is going to be cool. Yes, back to these prints. I'm going to individually pack them in these plastic wraps. Um, I know that's bad, but I have these and I need to use them basically. Um, maybe people can reuse them. I don't know. Um, I don't think so. But yeah, it would keep them protected. So I'm going to keep put them in there and then pop like stick packs in there at the same time and then probably put something like that in. I did get a sponsor, not a sponsorship. I got um, given um, like some free, I don't know how to describe it, um, free wrapping paper you design yourself and it's like eco-friendly and I really want to work on that. <clears throat> I've just been stuck on what I want to do because you have to do like a pattern. Something that is, sorry for this horrible shot, um, on my channel this pattern. I was thinking about doing something like that but I want to like update it because I feel like I did this a while ago and I can do better now but it's just finding the time at the moment um anyway yeah so I have been going through um some short comics that I own just to see like for some research and stuff for um my comic and I think I really like this format where it's like short and then I was thinking maybe it would be nice to do something like this where you have two comics in one but sealed with like this little um holder and i don't know if that would be too difficult for me to do but it would be something quite fun and then you could have one story and then the other because i've only got two stories like i said i was trying to create a third one but i keep thinking like what am i going to do and it feels a bit forced I thought maybe of doing like a really, really short one in between the two longer ones to sort of separate them. I'm not sure anyway. I think this is the nicest size. I kind of really like this size of comic. Um, Emily is Burning, my old comic was a lot bigger than that. It was kind of A4 size and I think this one is just, I don't know, it kind of works for indie, indie publications so. Yeah, I'm just looking through for like inspiration and things like that and um, I've read all these before but that these are some of the comics I own that I'm kind of looking through because yeah I like how they look and feel and stuff like that um obviously I printed Emily is Burning and I like it at the time I loved it um but now I'm thinking like I would probably prefer like a shorter uh scale like a smaller scale anyway or comic if that makes sense um yeah because that one is a bit big but i don't know if it works for the length so it's something that i have to consider whilst i'm making the comic i also really wanted to do all my comic um pages in this sketchbook because i really like how this sketchbook works and how it takes all, um the alcohol markers so you know look <laughs> i don't know how why i'm showing you like this um i really like the way that it holds the alcohol markers so i was thinking oh i'll do all my all my pages on here but then i realized that this is like cream color so when i go to um edit well not edit but like pump up the values and stuff like that in photoshop or try to you know make it look nicer for print it might affect how that works like because it can never find a true white on the page if that makes sense like if i'm playing with the levels it's always going to be maybe messing with the other colors a little bit so i'm thinking i need to do this on white pure white paper but i have to do some tests as well again so let's see how that goes out that's pretty much the story so far sorry i keep looking at myself it's very difficult to talk directly into the camera but yeah, I was doing some <clears throat> character designs for 
the slow disappearance or the yeah the slow disappearance of Amelia <laughs> funny story I named my character Olivia Munn and then Chris was like isn't that an actress and I was like yeah but her, she's she's got like a slightly different name and then it was actually her name is Olivia Munn and I was like oh Never mind, I need to find a different name. So the original title was The Slow Disappearance of a Mun. And then, um, yeah, I'm doing it in kind of a Georgian time frame in England. So I'm looking up a lot of reference pictures such as like Emma and those kind of films. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, Pride and Prejudice, that kind of era. And I think it would be really fun to play around with that. I think I really want to do that all in really like light pastel shades and then the other comic which is going to be set in the 90s ish i'm going to make it really like punky and like bright colors and so it will be like a real contrast but i think it will be really fun and that's the comic update for now if you want more um i think i'll probably post more stuff on patreon if you want to find out more stuff i really appreciate if anyone can support me on patreon or even share something for me because Obviously during this time for me, um, it's going to be difficult for me to get through it without, I don't know, finding another job and then I'm like, I've got my groove with this one, like working and then in, in the evenings doing stuff, so I'm really hoping that I can transition if I do get made redundant, um, which is on the cards, then I can transition into doing patron stuff and youtube full time but it's scary because i've got the wedding next year and we have a lot of rent to pay and things like that and bills so you know when you have like two jobs at a certain level you get used to living and maintaining that that like level of stuff so when it goes to <laughs> not having a big chunk of money that you get every month then it can be pretty scary and uh, yeah uh, this sounds really privileged but it is scarier than that because it's like my rent my rent money and all that just ignore Chris shouting in the background but yeah that's what's on my mind I think I'm pretty like stressed out about it um yeah good times great 2020 right 2020 I'll talk to you later <laughs>a little bit more self-care and reading these books um, all the boys I loved before I'm on the third book now so I was reading that in the bath and then just settling down for the night and reading my patron book club book uh, Southerners book guide to slaying vampires which is quite funny quite good at the moment and uh, just relaxing with my family my little cats and Chris